Today is Global Running Day. So we made it here to Columbus Circle. It's a little noisy. Sorry if you can't hear me very well, but and we're gonna be here for the Believe in the Run Tour kickoff on Global Running Day here at Columbus Circle. What's up? Love you guys. Christian, nice to meet you. Yeah.
we made it back through the rainstorm. Luckily, it wasn't pouring rain during the group run. Um, but thank you so much to the New York Running Company. It was Jackrabbit. It's now Fleet Feet. That's where ASICS kind of hosted their group run and um, shoe samples from. So you'll have to follow the A6 van tour on Instagram if you want to check out and see if they are coming to a city near you. It was a ton of fun. Um, great to meet the guys from Believe in the Run as well. Another great Instagram page and YouTube channel if you've never heard of them. Uh, and, you know, just a great time to go out and go for this group run on Global Running Day. You can hear I kind of lost my voice just yelling and, and calling things out and running with the group. Um, but it was a ton of fun and exactly what I was hoping for on a day like that day uh, where it's just about community and getting together and connecting over running. It was the perfect way to do it with A6. To get to try out the Metaspeed Sky Plus was also a big bonus. So we'll talk about that also in just a second. First off, the run itself was faster than I would have wanted it to be. Came in around 8.30 per mile or about 5.17 per kilometer. I know I was trying to take it easy, but that's just where the five mile group kind of drifted off to. We started around nine per mile, but quickly dropped to about 8.30 and then closer to 8.10 by the end. So it was a tough run, hilly in Central Park, but still a lot of fun and just wanted, wanted to get out there with the group. Now, as far as the shoes, I'm sure you're all interested in that. My verdict for me is I probably will not be purchasing this shoe, um, you know, so it's nice that I got to try it before buying it. Uh, it just doesn't make sense for me because I really still feel like I would lean in the direction of the Nike Next Percent or Next Percent 2. So again, for me, it just doesn't make sense to buy it to do any deeper review on this channel. But I will say a couple things. The Metaspeed Sky Plus does have a wider toe box than the Metaspeed Sky, and I felt that right away. There was a lot of room for me in the front, even though I have a pretty wide foot myself. A lot of people in the group agreed they actually half-sized down for it, and that felt a lot more comfortable and felt like there was a lot better lockdown for them. So keep that in mind. Maybe try them somewhere if you can, or make sure you buy them from somewhere with a good return policy, because they may just run a little bit large. The upper is also a completely new material from the Metaspeed Sky. A couple people had to say that they didn't necessarily like the tongue material. It's kind of a felt or um, almost like a thin leathery strip. It's, it's a little interesting as far as the choice, but it wasn't uncomfortable to me at all. Just something that other people felt. Um, I know for myself, I got a little bit of a blister starting on the outside of the foot. Probably, again, just coming from maybe us being able to size down and it being a little bit wider. And I'm also hesitant to really lock down those laces on the very first run because I don't want to, you know, cut off my circulation and have that numb foot feeling. So all just a couple things, you know, being the first time I went out in the shoe. But the main reason that I'm going to stick with the Next% percent 2 is the foam is just a little bit thicker, a little bit firmer feeling. Um, it has this illusion that it's almost like a zero drop shoe when you look at it from the side. It's very, very beefy in the front and it almost kind of feels like that as well. They say it's a five millimeter drop, but it just feels like your toes are kind of up there. It obviously squishes down as you, as you go to step, just like the next percent too, but it just has a little bit different feeling to me. Um, nothing really new from the Metaspeed Sky first version, but still... I just, I really like the Nike Vaporfly and I don't have any reason to be buying, you know, $200 plus shoes if they're not going to be my favorite choice. So that's just where I sit and, uh, you know, still really nice to get to try them out. But I definitely would say that the Next% Percent 2 still has a softer durometer closer to like the New Balance RC Elite 2. And the, uh, you know, Asics Metaspeed Sky Plus is just a little bit firmer in that new midsole material that they say they're using. So... All things considered, still a great shoe. I wouldn't want to dissuade anyone from buying it. It's just my personal opinion. A lot of people out there liked it. A couple people came flying by doing faster like sprints during the group run that we were doing and they really found to like it. I heard people shouting out, wow, this feels really good. This is great. So, you know, lots of good opinions out there as well. It's just not exactly going to be for me over the other choices that I already have. So lots of fun out there. Great to meet everybody. It was more about the people than the shoes. Met a ton of great runners, other running clubs out there. And that was what it was all about that day. So great to meet everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.